Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy my readings here on YouTube. Um, personal reading link is in the description box below this video. And if there is an extended reading, the link will be also in the description box. Okay, so welcome everyone. Happy to see you guys. Um, we're going to take a look at the month of June, see what love messages are showing up here for the month of june if you have subscribed to my channel welcome dorothy kirby as a new subscribe or a new member here at the channel great to have you hello to all the mods all right you guys so let's get started so you're starting here with twin flames the butterfly cupid's arrow oh okay first out of the gate here you've got the lovers so there's love happening in june what and this is the card of june gemini energy here all right you're, are you going to connect well look let's just put it this way okay you're going to connect this month i see with someone who is the yin to your yang the peanut butter to your jelly okay this is good this is great and this relationship will evolve to the next phase there will be growth have faith love is coming surprise invitation or meeting happening in june all right let's take a look look at that readings over good job see you guys next week <laughs> this is something okay taurus energy gemini I could have somebody on the cusp of taurus and gemini but overall this is two people coming together complimenting each other being happily ever after okay and committing for sure like this a relationship that may turn into marriage or a sacred union but this is the commitment card okay this is like you know there's love there's i love you you love me this is already established we are free to love each other that's what the lovers is all about this is about making the decision to come together to be together in the month of june for sure and kind of solidifying the relationship here oh my gosh yeah there's the knight of cups so uh, there's definitely a, a love proposal or um, a romantic offer coming in in june and this is going to make your heart sing this is going to make your heart sing now why let's take a look see if we can figure out like maybe what sign and who it is my god you have the nine of cups listen <laughs> this is like a wish coming true or somebody is like really into you cupid's arrows here for sure lots of communication fast messages maybe some travel and there's a knight of pentacles there he goes it's been a long time coming virgo it's been a long time coming but it's coming the love comes so I'm going to drop a coin in your coin slot. This is nice. Okay, for God, I just don't even know what else to say. Okay. Wow. All right. So for some of you, this is a reconciliation. I will say that. Okay. But it is something here where there is someone who has been... Nine of Wands energy, judgment here. Uh, that's Scorpionic energy. There is someone who... I feel like has been there's they're very suspicious they've been hurt in the past they're hesitant very hesitant always to open up and I feel like they know they need to open up and they're gonna open up at some point um, or come back or reconcile with you and reveal everything I mean I feel like this person They've been through something. This is the this is the warrior card, the wounded soldier. This is the card of someone who like maybe they have a concussion to their head and it's like lifelong. <laughs> Hurt their arm. They have like um some kind of issues. They've been through some type of battle, physical battle. They're worn out, but they're not giving up just yet. They're not quitting. And for some of you, like I said, this is a, re a reconciliation situation where there's someone here who is making a return. Okay. They know you're their twin flame. They know that you two belong together. 
there was a connection there was a spark there was an understanding okay that's the two of cups maybe you guys came together as friends maybe it was just friends somebody here is like they feel this person feels like you are it for them you are the one look meaning of the minds this is mutual understanding there's some type of there's some type of understanding between the two of you that's star energy um this could be somebody who's in the spotlight or you could be um putting a spotlight on this relationship there's renewal hope inner clarity this is like a miracle happening here having faith yeah so feels to me like june is going to be a month of something serious not not serious like dreaded but like a committed kind of like you're mine i want you to be mine I don't want anybody else. I don't want you to be with anybody else. I want us to be together and conform into like a stable, committed kind of a relationship. Not boring. I don't feel like it could be boring. Just there's lines drawn here. Okay. There's lines drawn. It could be a very spiritual connection as well. But I just feel like with the Hierophant, this is like conforming expectation traditional which is pretty much like somebody or two people who who were with one another and nobody else and it gets kind of confirmed i feel okay it gets confirmed or at least this person you know is it's confirming it in their head in their heart in their you know their mind that they don't want to be with anybody else they want you you are the apple I, oh my gosh you are the apple of my eye, and I will always be around. Steve? Stevie Wonder? Steve? <laughs> so old school. Okay. First court card, King of Wands. So that's that's fire energy. So, wow. Okay, either you are, this person's coming back into your life, or you guys never dated, but you knew each other, you were friends. Is it somebody new? It could be. And sparks fly with the star. This is like fireworks. And this person is like, you're it for me. The twin flame energy. You're it for me. Okay. And this relationship evolves. Okay. So when I say fire sign, they could have fire in their chart anywhere. But they come across with the king of wands as somebody who is pretty much bold, charming, and courageous. You know, like they're not... They're not a beta type of a person. They're alpha. It's a very alpha type of energy. They come and take what's theirs, meaning like they want you, like they'll be pursuing. Okay. Now you've got the hanged man. So we're going to take a look at you, Virgo. Hmm. Of course, Virgo sitting there with the queen of swords, like, are you for real? Like, is this real life? Like, are you serious? Like, I'm going to need to see your background uh paperwork i'm gonna need to see your credit report i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna need to see uh, know about your past relationships like with a fine tooth comb with a toothpick picking at this person trying to figure out you know <laughs> i don't know it feels like a poking energy maybe you're maybe you're gonna poke somebody poking the bear but like it's almost like taking a fork and sticking it in the in the meat to see if it's really ready this is what i kind of feel like your energy is you know even with the hanged man it's like you're just trying to see from all different angles like is there any red inside this meat or is it well done or is it fully cooked is this person are you fully cooked are you coming in like half baked what's your deal because uh, you're showing up the queen of, as the queen of swords virgo so very self-sufficient and totally honest very intentional and strategic in your thoughts and your words all right <laughs> yeah that's your that's you of course yeah hmm all right so part of your energy here virgo <laughs> it's like okay let me just let me ask you i must ask you a question or two or three or four um, were you married before? Are you a ghost? Are you someone? Are you going to ghost me again? Are we going to go through this again? Do I get to meet your family? Do you have any kids? Like you, Virgo, are pretty much interviewing this person. You're like, you're like an FBI agent <laughs> with this person. And they're all coming in with this cup and this love. 
and this romance and Virgo's like yeah okay I'll go to that picnic with you you might even be asking them if like they're gay or you know opposite of what their gender orientation is you might be asking questions all kinds of stuff like what are that what's their deal um are you non-committal or are you serious I, I just kind of see you in June just asking like very important questions because I feel like the Queen of Swords keeps her heart blocked you know she puts her sword up first before she gives her heart away and it's more or less an energy of protecting yourself protecting your heart right and you know that's fine that's your energy i don't particularly see virgos i mean virgos can be very nurturing and loving and caring but to get in there and get that from a virgo people got to be real people got to be real they got to be authentic and trustworthy and safe right because virgos kind of like a hard candy outer shell with the soft and mushy stuff on the inside that's just i always think of, of of virgos as like hard hard candy outside soft gushy mushy on the inside you know you're gonna have to break through that shell first for virgo to really give you that internal gooey love and support and nurturing and caring so it seems pretty much in alignment with perhaps how most of you are where you know you need to know i feel like it's more along the lines of you're going to need to know if this person is strong enough to be your person are they strong enough and every virgo needs someone who's strong enough to handle them because virgos can be very tough you know so mm, yeah you're gonna have, you're gonna be asking questions for sure i see that what else okay right three of swords <laughs> virgo's like give me the straight answer give me the straight answer or, or i'll break your heart <laughs> kind of like that but i feel like you'll be asking if this person has been divorced or if they're going through a divorce like what's the deal what kind of person are you i feel like that's what you're going to be asking or at least if you're not communicating this to this person you will be open ears listening to them to make that discernment about because see virgos love they want the love they love the romance some of them not all of them but some of them pretty much yeah they do like that but i feel like i don't know the queen of swords comes to me as someone who's um very honest with herself and very intentional and quite strategic where maybe before you weren't like that maybe you just gave your heart to anybody um now you're kind of sifting through you know it's like when you go to the grocery store you go to buy some eggs you lift the cover first to make sure there's no broken eggs in there before you before you invest <laughs> that's kind of what you're doing virgo's like looking at all their eggs like i'm sorry but if there's a broken in a broken egg in here it's going to spoil the bunch so yeah it looks like you're being a bit more strategic and open and honest yeah because you could you could take it or leave it that's your energy this month virgo you could take it or leave it if it if this person isn't going to tick all the boxes apart from the romance you got to tick other boxes because it's really easy to be romantic and sway and and things like that but if somebody's not ticking all your boxes virgo look eight of wands i'm sorry eight of cups this is like i'll, I'll just move on that's your energy i don't know virgo i mean it's because i feel like this person is coming in being very romantic being very um they think that you're they're, they're gonna say a lot of stuff or at least push that on you but i don't know for sure if they're i don't know if they're i didn't see any deception i'll tell you that but i still think you should be a little bit investigative about like what the deal is with them okay sure if you want to go out on like a date go out and have a romantic night romantic dinner go to the movies whatever whatever people do go ahead and do that but when it comes time to like if this person is like oh i want to really invest and do something with this relationship you know people you gotta gotta communicate gotta communicate you know gotta communicate and 
not everyone communicates so you got to talk you might be the one that has to talk all right so you got the knight of wands yeah you're kind of it looks like you're walking away from any um one night stand kind of energy if you're like no I'm done with that close that chapter of your life um or anyone that you may have wanted a relationship with but it turned into just those one night stands it looks like you're now nah, you're done with that these boots are made for walking right you're just not interested in that type of like player energy you'd rather be alone you'd rather stay on your own so okay that's you and we know you virgo but we also know that we do see somebody coming in here in june definitely love is gonna happen and again like i said could be a reconciliation or someone from your past could be somebody new but this person and i'm just gonna say it again there will be an invitation to go out or to get together with this person in some shape or form okay um it, it will come as a surprise for you this i do see here like they said there's growth this relationship could evolve to the next phase whatever the next or, you know progress this person i just feel like this is a this is somewhat i hate to use twin flame but i'm gonna say twin flame or like i said they, there's something familiar about you and this person they recognize themselves in you and you may in them i feel like you're still gonna give them the third degree which is fine go for it but nobody wants a doormat so stand your ground but i feel like this person's gonna definitely fall for you or is falling for you as in you're theirs you're the one they want to be with point blank period okay okay all right let's move on <laughs> it's so crazy because i don't know virgo i just feel like this person they there was a lot of hesitation like i see there with them maybe they doubt themselves or they've just been through so much and they've just they doubt themselves or doubt that anybody that you would even want to be with them they're hesitant about the commitment thing i'm not really sure exactly why probably be, for some of them because they've been through breakup they're they're very you know once maybe they're a bit jaded but yeah i'm gonna say jaded and i only say that because i just saw the green gives me like some jade color so that could be army maybe they're in the military oh boundaries heavy duty boundaries okay so you know virgo if this is someone that you know and you know that they're hesitant really all you have to do is create a safe place for them to land you know uh, you know uh, i feel like this person might be afraid or just have like some jaded fears about shooting their shot and then missing the target here you know maybe you need to show them where the target is <laughs> all right let's get messages of love okay obstacles unhealed wounds blocking forward movement yeah so with this person i see unavailability and i feel like it's mostly to do with what i was just saying a difficult and understanding how to either please you or what to do you just got to show them where that your your target is that's it. not to be hurt but like for a safe place for them to come forward and make their concessions towards you you just have to be show them that safe place i mean we could get into this we really could get into this but i'm not going to get into this in a tarot reading uh let's see what else okay children are important to this partnership okay this relationship deserves a second chance okay and you can be completely open with this person yes that's that's pretty much how you get when you're open with someone when people are open with when someone's open with you virgo right you feel like there's a bond that gets created now when i say open i don't mean you got to like completely open your entire heart to someone 
you, you do that bit by bit, but you can be completely open with this person in some areas. And so, and, and I feel like they want to be open with you. I feel like the more open you are with them, the more they'll reveal about themselves. You know, when you tell a secret to somebody, they feel like you trust them and they want to share and open up and share some of their secrets too. It's not a game of manipulation or anything like that. It sounds like it, but it's people just take things out of context because they're so afraid of getting hurt. All right, let's take a look and see what your Chinese signs are, who this person is, what their Chinese sign is, what yours is. All right, year of the pig, year of the horse, year of the rooster, year of the goat. I feel, I'm feeling a monkey. Year of the rat, year of the rabbit, year of the monkey and year of the snake okay that could be you that could be your person take it as it resonates all right let's get into let's see what else we have going on here you guys are so funny virgo's like yeah i'll give you my heart but i'm gonna have to see like do you have a job <laughs> do you have a job do you work? What do you do for a living? <laughs> I don't need you to be a millionaire. I just need to know you have a job. Um, Virgo, Virgo, Taurus, and Cancer showing up here. Okay. September 15th. Um, February, significant month. September 3rd. Age 47. September 21st. April, significant month. September 1st. Someone's 32, 1972, 1980, age 58, age 43, September, no, August 28th, 1966, 1965, age 51. Someone's name is Bam, or nickname Bam, or Bam Bam, or Bam. Okay. Someone works sells oh, MAB paints does something with paint sells paint is a painter there's um, August 31st you know it's going to show up okay we have RJ uh, we have Nick Nick or Nicholas or Nick um, I just heard someone wants you to ask them a question okay ask them Ask somebody something. Someone's in the Bahamas. Um, okay. We have Jack. Someone's a jock. Uh, let's see. Letter S, the letter K, letter C, the letter J, the letter R. Someone's a nurse. Uh, letter M, uh, Abby. Uh, hold on. Someone's an osteopath. I just heard an osteopath. JR, or someone's a junior. Okay. Someone is taking zinc. I feel like I said that before. Somebody must be trying to tell you, make sure you take, take your zinc. Spirit's trying to say, take your zinc. Um... Do something with an SEO. Get your SEO up. Okay. Um, somebody plays hockey or does something on a rink. Ice rink. Skating rink. Something with a rink. Uh, Sam. Just heard the name Sam. Sammy. Samantha. Uh, someone's getting a manicure or just got one. Arnie, just heard the name Arnie. Uh, Marnie, now they're telling me Marnie. Uh, Sin, like Cynthia or Cindy, Sin. Uh, okay, they just told me Rastafarian. Rastafarian. 
Okay, let's get some charms. Ooh, big gigantic butterfly. Yep, just like what you have there in the beginning of the reading, the butterfly, there's a relationship evolving, much like a butterfly. Might have been a cocoon stage or is in a cocoon stage, breaking out of this cocoon, evolving, getting better, moving on. What the frick is this thing? Oh, somebody lives in a city. Um, and now they're just saying like Santa Fe or Mexico or Spain or somewhere where the buildings are next to each other and they are very each different colors. I'm just hearing that each different colors. Um, San Francisco, I just heard as well. San Francisco. OK, someone's in North Carolina. Someone is in Kentucky or Kansas City. Oh, they just gave me the name Kim. Kim. Oh, okay, now they're saying MK Ultra. Um, someone is in Southeast Alabama. Maybe that's what Bama means. They call it Bama. Southeast Alabama. Okay. I think is that it I think that's it you also have an angel you have an angel showing up here you guys very beautiful so you have an angel guardian angel watching over you um, your guardian angel if, if you have an angel that you pray to or a guardian angel she or he wants you to know that they are there they're here they hear you they're protecting you definitely Whoever your angel is, or who, uh, you know, even if you don't know, you might not even know. You might not even have a name for your angel. You might just feel some kind of a presence, an all knowing presence that surrounds you that's good, positive, like um, Gl Glenda the Good Witch. <laughs> you have an angel. They're, they're, they're surrounding you, they're watching over you. And this is just to confirm that. Okay? I just heard Mal Malik, Malik, name, Malik. Oh, um, now they're saying something. They're giving me the word. I don't know what this means. They're giving me the word chain or chains, chain or chains, a chain, not change, chain. Like, you know, a chain that you wear around your neck, a chain. And, okay, so they're also saying someone takes Zyrtec or needs to take some Zyrtec. Okay. Um, Mackie. Mackie or Mac? I'm hearing Mac or Mackie. Oh, also Richard and Zach. All right, you got, oh, another saying cakes. Somebody's making cakes. Oh, God, I love cake. Making a cake or buying a cake. Decorating a cake, doing something with cakes. All right, I'm going to leave that there. I hope you enjoy that. I'll be back tomorrow, Wednesday's reading. I'm going to probably have an extended with that. There won't be an extended tonight. This pretty much was straightforward. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great night. And I will see you all back here tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel. Love you guys. Bye. Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.